Hey guys and welcome to another Pygame tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to discuss text in Pygame. Okay, so the thing is in text in Pygame uh, it's a bit tricky. Okay, it's a bit trickier than just displaying it on your console. Okay, you can't use a simple one line statement like print and you, you know have it printed out. Okay, it's a bit trickier. Okay, but luckily it's not too hard okay it's just a few lines of code okay i'm gonna teach you guys how to do it i'm gonna teach you guys how to use system fonts I'm gonna teach you guys how to use manual font files that you may have downloaded off the internet or something okay i'm gonna teach you guys all of that so let's not talk too much and begin right away and before we do actually make sure you like and subscribe to the channel okay so you don't miss any future videos because we have a lot of pygm content here so uh the thing is uh the first thing you need to do is actually sort of visualize the process, okay, for using text in Pygame. There are three steps, okay, that I like to break it down into. The first step is where we load up the font, and the second step is where we render the text, and the third step is where we draw that text to the Pygame window, okay. So let's begin right away. Now there are two ways we can load up fonts, okay. The first step, loading up a font, a font to use, which, you know, we're going to use that font to create that text. Okay, now there are two ways of doing this. We can either use system fonts. Okay, now let me just go ahead and show you this. Okay, pygame.font.getfonts. Okay, now let me just run this code and hopefully we should see all the system fonts available display on screen. Hopefully, come on. Okay, still loading. And no, it did not show. What is up with that? Oh, there it is. It's 52 lines of squeezed text. Okay, I want to open up. All right, here we are. This, all of this mumbo jumbo here is the system fonts available in our operating system. Okay, on our computer. And this, by the way, will vary a bit from, you know, operating system to operating system. If you're on Mac or something or Linux, you may have something different. Okay, and yeah, it could be a bit different. So you can see stuff like Arial over here, Arial Black, Calibri. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce that really and uh, Georgia ink free and some other really weird stuff over here which I have no idea what that is for never mind okay so yeah these are some fonts over here available on our system okay so I'm seeing Verdano over here as well okay uh, but basically yeah we can see those system fonts available these are fonts already available on our system that we can use okay you just need to pick one of them and do this basically font is equal to pygame.font.font dot font and sorry it's sys font okay it's sys font for system font and then you need to do something like verdana okay and then the size okay the size of the text the size of the font sorry so this can be something ranging from 10 to like 40 depending on whether it's normal text whether it's something a heading or something okay or a large game over display so i'll just put this at 20 okay which is a fairly normal size so that's how you load up a font okay this is a system font so let's move on to step number two okay this is step number one okay step one loading up <clears throat> load a font okay <clears throat> All right, step two. Step two is, uh, what was it? Render text, right. So what I'm gonna do down here is say text, or let's call this, let's give this some more regular names. My font, okay, my text, okay, that sounds better. So my text is equal to my font, okay, and this is important, you use the render function on this font. So my font dot render, okay. Now the render function takes three parameters, okay. The first parameter is the string that you want to render, okay, as text. So in my case, I want to do something like um, pygame font and text, okay. And a second parameter, what was this? It was anti-aliasing, right? So basically, it's just a boolean value, true or false. Anti-aliasing, if you haven't already heard, it's basically a you know technique or more like uh, something you're CPU does or a graphic card if you have one. So what it does is sort of smooths out the edges. Okay, this is typically used in gaming, but over here what it means is that it basically smooths out the edges on the fonts to make it look better. 
okay so I want this so I'm gonna go ahead and say true and the third parameter is the color okay which is just a tuple of RGB values okay so let's say that I want red okay I'll just do 255 zero zero okay 255 for R 0 for G and 0 for B okay and yeah there we go step 3 okay now step 3 is something I'm gonna need to do down here okay step 3 is um, what was it draw text okay so I'll do display dot blit and this is a very common Pygame command by the way uh, I'm sure you guys already know this because I'm sure you guys have already done some Pygame stuff before coming here all right so display dot blit and you need to just do my text and then the position where you want to draw it so I'll just roughly draw it somewhere over here so that it, it roughly ends up centered on the screen okay so something like this okay and okay hold on I pressed the wrong button there okay so I'll come down here and just one more line that I need to add all right display dot fill okay this is just me refreshing the screen a bit okay and let's run this okay what is wrong with this of course how could I do such a silly mistake this is a tuple okay this takes only two parameters okay it doesn't take three this was actually meant to be a tuple with the x and y values okay so let's run this again and come on it should print out there you go it looks pretty neat honestly and pretty nice okay and you can just change the size if you want to size if you want to make it larger or just you know a heading or something go ahead feel free to do that okay so this is step one okay now let's just try swapping between a few okay and see what happens okay you can clearly see that looks different and this is why I don't like using Arial I usually usually use Vordana because uh, I like it a lot better honestly so yeah this looks way better in my opinion um, but yeah now the thing is you may want to use some custom fonts if you go online and type game fonts you'll see some really cool fonts available online and you may think hey I want that and trust me I've had that feeling too and I've actually used fonts like those in my previous projects okay so what you can do is simply download that file which is a TTF file it that's the extension dot TTF so you can just load that up and I'll teach you how to do that right now okay I just need to remove this line we don't need this anymore okay and instead I'm gonna use a different function okay and again the requirement is that we have a font file okay this is my um, folder where I have the file this is the file I'm working on pygame.txt sorry pygame text okay and this is the text file that I downloaded sorry font file frostbite.ttf okay that's what it's called okay and it's kind of it kind of looked pretty cool so I thought I'd download it I used it in a previous game of mine so yeah I'm gonna teach you guys how to load this up now okay pykim.font.capital font okay with a capital F and then you just write the name of the file okay now um, in my case I have it in the same directory so I'm just gonna write frostbite.ttf but if it's in a different directory okay like you have a fonts file or something so you may want to do something like fonts okay and then like this okay because typically you'll use more than just one font okay and one more thing I'll actually talk about the benefits of each method I'll talk about the benefits of sys fonts I'll talk about default system font at the end of this video okay let me just finish this first okay so frostbite.ttf and I'm just gonna give it the size in the same manner okay it's pretty much the same thing and then I'm just gonna run this and there you go okay let me just make that a bit bigger okay because you know different fonts they have different scales okay so some of them need to be bigger to actually show up properly and there you go it looks kind of cool and you know it kind of has that gamey effect I use I used it in a game of mine so yeah it's kind of cool I'll include this uh, this file frostbite the frostbite font in the description below as a download so if you guys want to download this go ahead okay and there'll also be a link to my website website where you can find this entire tutorial all the code for it and stuff so if you guys want the code and stuff you can find it over there okay now let me just briefly discuss a few things and discuss some alternate methods that you, you can use 
Okay, so the first thing I, I want to tell you is the concept of the system default font. Okay, now the thing is, um, let me just show you guys. Okay, I'll do sys font over here, then I'll try using frostbite. Let's see what happens. Okay, now, is that the frostbite font? No, it's not. Now, what happened here? What is that font? What is it? Now, you might ask, what is that, right? So, the thing is, that is what we call the system default font, okay? It is the font that displays when there is no other font available. Okay, sorry. Well, that's also true, but uh, it's the font that displays, in this case, when the font that we gave it was invalid, okay, when it couldn't find it. So it was like, uh, I can't find Frostbite, so I'm gonna just default back to the system default, okay? That's basically what happened here, okay? So that's uh, something you should know, okay? So you don't need to worry in a scenario where you don't actually have the font, like if you're using on your computer, Verdana, okay? And you may you, you don't necessarily need to wonder uh, worry about the fact that someone else may not have Verdana because uh, it's not as if the text will not show up It'll, it won't return an error that uh, hey I couldn't find anything okay um, so it's gonna just default to, to the system default so no matter what happens something will show okay but you see this is why people use fonts you know like the manual kind okay like Frostbite where they actually include the front file with the program like if you make a game so if you go look at some of the games that you may have downloaded on your pc you may find some font files in there you may find a folder called fonts okay maybe and that's what that's why people do this they do it so that uh, no matter what happens that font will be available Okay, they bundle their own fonts, the fonts that they use, with the game or GUI application or whatever, so that there's always a 100% guarantee that the font is there available, okay? So that the game will look exactly like they intend, okay? So that it won't have to default back to the system default or something, okay? So this is kind of important, okay? So yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you guys, and we're pretty much done here. I hope you guys enjoy adding in font and text into your games now. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a later video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, leave some feedback, okay? And if there's something else you guys want me to make or something, or something you want to see, something you're having confusion in, let me know, okay?